Welcome to the Events Editor Tutorial Part 2. So, uh, choose the module we were working on, load it, and then create a new event. Select it, rename it, I'm going to call this one Bandit. Uh, remember to save as well. And then we're here. So this one is going to be an expedition type event, so it can happen to your exploring parties. It's also going to be an interrupt type, meaning it can occur when they're still moving. And let's skip it to difficulty 1. I'm going to set it this lovely image and we're ready to go. So the adventure phase is going to tell us that we are ambushed. Ambushed, and one of you is kidnapped. So once again, we're going to enter the logic editor to set some prerequisites. So for this event, we're going to have two prerequisites. One is going to be just uh, people. And in the filter source, this is an expedition event, therefore we do want to be looking for people within a group. And again, we're going to be looking for objects with the tag character. So these are going to be our people, everyone that has the tag character. And we want there to be at least four people. So we choose this. So at least four people. The other prerequisite is going to be a terrain location, and these are going to be hills. So one tag hills, and for terrain location and player tags and chance, you don't need to do anything in the results. This is already a finished prerequisite. So now the event can only occur if you are traveling through the hills or you stopped in the hills. And if you have at least four objects with the tag character. So, um, as I said in the text, one of your people is actually going to be kidnapped by these bandits straight away. So we are going to create two groups in the processing. One is going to be the kidnapped, so it's going to be uh, our lowest level character from the list people, and it's going to be one kidnapped. Now the other group is going to be called leftovers, and this is going to be everyone else that's left. So. This time we're going to choose in first, but not in second. So this group is going to be made of people from the group people in list one, but not in the group kidnapped. So it's going to exclude this one poor soul. So in the results, what I want to do now is I want to remove the kidnapped person, first of all. And then I want to forward this kidnapped to the next list and I also want to forward the leftovers to the next event. So this means I can use both the list kidnapped and the list leftovers in my future phases in this event. So this is all done. So um, what we're going to do about these bandits? Well we're going to create a challenge phase and we're going to make it a fight phase to begin with. So um, we're going to say attack the bandit. And this is going to be a fight challenge. So we, again, we connect, connect it with the string. And here we can choose the challenge type. We've got all the different challenges in there. Uh, we've got versus group. This is where we choose the enemy that we're going to be fighting against. So you need to familiarize yourself with our database for that or just type in the group that you're looking for. So I'm going to type bandits and I want it to be human bandits. You can increase the percentage of this group. So if I put 200% it's going to be twice as big as the usual group human bandits. And here I can 
choose the challenge list. So this is where I can choose the kidnapped or the leftovers. So it's obviously going to be the leftovers actually fighting against the bandits. So uh, we're going to then produce an adventure end and attach it to the winning condition. Rewards, uh, some XP and research points. And enter the logic editor again to give some rewards. So rewards again come in the event modification. Now remember we want to return the kidnapped person. So we want to add to the group and we want to add instead of character or item we want to add the list. And the list is kidnapped. So now we've returned our kidnapped person. Additionally we are going to modify the kidnapped Group. So our kidnapped person um, is actually feeling uh, blessed by his trauma, so his willpower will increase for 15 turns. And finally we're going to give the group some items because they beat these bandits. So apart from the loot they get from the fight itself, we're going to find some gold uh, there we go. So they're going to find between 5 and 8 gold. So that's our winning condition done. And now for the losing, we're not giving back the kidnapped person. We can assign one experience point. So that's it. That's our basic fight done. The last thing to do is to, to assign a difficulty level. Um, again, you'll need to ch check our database for that or just uh, learn it, but uh, these bandits have two skulls difficulty, so the left hand drop down menu shows you the skull difficulty that can then be displayed in game. So this is your basic fight finished. So we want there to be another option because it's always best to give as many options as you can. So we create another output. And we're going to say outsmart them. Um, so we want to practice a, a non-fight challenge. That's why I chose outsmart them. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to do an intellect challenge. And in our database it's actually called intuition. Um, so you must remember that. So it's going to be an intellect challenge. There we go go. And uh, in the challenge scale here, this is where you assign the difficulty level. So um, as you remember from the game, you can have 1 to 10 now actually with the DLC. So let's say this one is going to be a difficulty 2. And once again, I want to show that it's a 2 skull challenge. And it's the leftovers again that are going to be fighting this intuition challenge. But I want that to be a prerequisite for this one, so only smart people can do it. Again, the filter sources group because it's an expedition type. We're looking for intelligence tag of at least six. And we also actually want to look for the character tag again. Otherwise, it could be coming up with a, an object that's um, adding intelligence bonuses to it. And we want to be looking for an actual person. So we need to add the character and we want there to be at least one smart person. So if you have one smart person, they can now do this challenge. Um, so if you win, if we want to make it easy, we're simply going to connect it to the winning scenario there. And uh, if we lose a non-combat challenge, there aren't any immediate physical consequences to, to such a loss. So if we do want to add such consequences, we add the deal damage phase. And in the deal damage, we um, want to say what kind of creatures will give this damage. You can either choose the group you are fighting against or if you want it to be a different type of, of damage, uh, like you don't want it to be too big, you can choose a different group. So let's say I'm going to use rats because I want it to simulate a sort of a punch, punch in the face rather than deadly damage. So let's say two people will get punched in the face for trying to outsmart the bandits. 
and it's the leftovers that will get the punch in the face. Now what you can do now is you can either connect it to the adventure end again or you could even connect it back to a challenge so the bandits decide to attack you because you insulted them. So whatever you choose you can just do that and that's your basic challenge with the bandits done. Thanks for watching and tune in for part 3.